and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can access the pass through cameras of different vendor headsets all easily without any code using the Tilia Tractor alias. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. And again, we're in the scene where we set up our multiple camera rigs and we set up the camera rig rules that automatically switches on the relevant SDK camera rig for us. So to get the camera path through working, we just need to set up these camera rigs with the relevant SDK functionality that does the camera rig path through for that vendor's headset. So let's start with WaveXR. So in WaveXR, we'll expand our camera rig and we'll expand Wave rig and then expand camera offset. Now we can put these components anywhere, but it's just easy to add them to the main camera. So we're going to add them to main camera. And then all we need to do is add component and we're going to add the underlay pass through layer processor. And this component comes as part of the Tilia SDK wrapper for the Wave XR, and it just wraps their code that does underlay pass through processing. There is also an overlay pass through processor if you want to do that. But once we've added that to our component, all we then need to do is add this to our WVR device details record. We can see there's a pass through processor option on there. So we just grab, drag and drop that into there. And that's it now, our Wave XR camera rig is set up to do underlay pass through processing. So we'll close that down. We don't need to do anything for the Pico, that's automatically all handled by the SDK wrapper. And let's have a look at Oculus integration. So if we expand the camera rig there, and then go to the OVR camera rig, if we look at the OVR manager, all we need to do is scroll down and find where it says pass through support. Make sure that's set to supported, which means we can turn it on or off if we want. And then we just need to make sure enable pass through is ticked. And then finally, we just need to add an OVR pass through layer component. And this OVR pass through layer component is part of the Oculus integration asset that we downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. And again, we're just going to make this an underlay pass through layer. So we just need to change the placement to underlay. And then if we look in our device details and then in head, we can see in our OVR plugin details record, it takes pass through layer options. So I'm going to add an element to this list and then we just need to grab, drag and drop our OVR camera rig, which contains our OVR pass through layer on. And we also want to make sure this is ticked so it hides our pass through layer when it is enabled. And there we go, we've now set up all of the pass through layers on the Wave XR camera rig. The Pico integration camera rig didn't need any setup and the Oculus integration camera rig has now been set up with the OVR pass-through layer. So what we need to do now is just come up with some way of enabling the pass-through camera and then disabling the pass-through camera. So we'll just keep this simple, we'll expand our action mappings and then expand the right controller actions. And we'll just say on primary button press, when we press that, we're going to activate our camera pass-through. And when we release that button, we're going to deactivate our camera pass-through. And all we need to do is we can use the tracked alias for this. So we grab, drag and drop the tracked alias into both of these. And then on the function, if we look in tracked alias facade, we can see we can set the active headset pass through camera enabled flag. And this is a dynamic ball property. So because this pass is true, that means it's going to be enabled the camera rig. So that will set that property to true, which means our camera pass through will become enabled. And then on here, we just need to do the same again, tracked alias facade and active headset pass through camera enabled will become false. When we press the button, it becomes true, enables our pass-through camera. And then when we release the button down here, it becomes false and the pass-through camera will turn off. And there we go, that's all we need to set this up. If we look in the tracked alias, we can see when the pass-through camera is enabled and when it is disabled, it calls this sub-logic down here. And this sub-logic just turns the skybox of our camera to a clear colour so we can see through. So all this is handled for you, so you don't need to worry about any of that. Before we make our builds, what we're going to do is on our tracked alias, in these pass through was enabled and was disabled, we're also going to turn the floor off so we can see more of our external view. And when the pass through is disabled, we're going to turn that floor object back on. So all we need to do is add in two listeners and then in environment, we're going to grab floor, drag it into both of these. And then for the first one, we're just going to set active false. And for when the camera is disabled, we're going to set active true. And there we go, we can now go to the build menu and we can start building for our headsets. And then let's open up player settings. And all we need to do then is go to our XR plugin management and we're just going to build it for each of our headsets, ticking the headset we're building for and making sure everything else is on tick. So I'll build for Wave XR first, so I'll click build. And then I'll save out as Wave Tester APK. And then we'll build for the Pico by unticking Wave and ticking Pico. And then we just need to go back to the build settings, click build. 
and we'll save it out as Pico Tester APK. And finally, we'll build for the Oculus. So we'll go to our XR plugin management, untick Pico, and then we'll tick Oculus and go back to build and we'll save this out as Oculus Tester APK. And when those three APKs have built, all we need to do is deploy into our headset. Let's jump over to the headset and see this working. And now we're in the headset. I'm in the Pico to start with. And you can see I can activate our pass through camera and deactivate it. And I can still grab things and do everything with the camera activated or deactivated. And now I'm in the Oculus headset and you can see the same. I can activate and deactivate our pass through camera. And finally in the wave and we can still access things, grab them and throw them around. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VITK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.